Alright guys, so these are all the prints that we printed on the Neptune 4 Pro. So the printer is quite capable and definitely quite a solid printer just out of the box. So we printed quite a few things here. We've seen all these down here, which was our test prints. So let's go to some of our PLA prints, which we have this little octopus and there's no issues whatsoever sticking to the bed and then popping right off. It works extremely well here on this printer. And by the way guys, everything was printed in 0.2 layer height and set at 250 millimeters a second on the the slicer so yeah all of these were printed very quickly and you guys can see with that kind of speed it's quite impressive how well everything is going down now you can speed up this printer and make it go much faster but I kind of just use the default which goes about three times faster than a more normal 3d printer that's not running on clipper and you guys can see the detail is quite incredible and everything is just great and it's impressive that you can print prints like this in under an hour so here we have a pretty cool print as this is a frog with a tri-color filament I like to print these little frogs as they got very intricate details between the little paws here and we can see overhand are great cooling is pretty much excellent I would say on this printer no stringing I did bump it up to 0.8 retraction and you can go all the way to one if you need to and yeah it looks quite incredible and all the layers are sitting very well and this did not take long at all don't remember exactly but it's a literally under 20 minutes really good at these high speeds here we have another print also in a tricolor and this is a squirtle and you guys can see again the layers are sitting really nice sometimes when the lighting hits it just right you can kind of see the layers but it is quite good overall considering the speed there is a little bit of layering here and there but it's quite minor and yeah very nice print here of the squirtle and if you're looking for speed with good accuracy the 4 pro here has no issues there and speaking of accuracy here we have a print called gear and this is a functional part and i like to print this to test out how accurate the printers are and you guys can see that's the bottom looks great this did break loose but it's not perfect so i'm not sure exactly what's going on here but i noticed that this printer is not dimensionally putting the layers down exactly in a circle or at least is what it seems like but it does still spin but we can kind of see there's signs of something not completely squared off as we have a gap here and then no gap here and a gap there so yeah this could be a little bit off centered the axes and what's causing that maybe just needs to be realigned with a square so that does happen it is something that's fixable but needs to be fine-tuned which is a little unfortunate to see on the pro bottle but it is a coincidence and it does happen once in a while so and we do have another print here that also proves that this is not completely round as I have a hard time spinning this is actually a super cool print as it's an engine with a wheel on the outside and when you spin it I guess you kind of hold it down here and you can spin the wheel you can see the pistons kind of going and you got like a gear here that goes through these teeth here so yeah it's a really cool design but you guys can see it's not really running right and it's having a hard time and the reason for that is because it's not a circle and I had to kind of play with this a lot to even get it to move so yeah now going to something a little more fun is we printed this bear so my wife loves these so I'm printing a few here and there for her and this time we printed in white and you guys can see it looks really good overall the retractions are staying pretty nice as there's no stringing practically there is a little bit of layering here and there you can kind of see at the right lighting but overall it looks really good so this was also printed with 250 millimeters a second and just like everything else and yeah you guys can see the bottom here we have a little brim to hold it down and there was no issues again with the build plate the pi just works really good here but yeah this bear here turned out really good and didn't take too long to print either i think about five to six hours something like that so now speaking of a stress test we have this print here and this is 
kind of like a fabric-y print. So these are a lot of little pieces that have to combine together. And this puts an immense stress on the extruder, which has to retract thousands of times to print something like this. And not only that, this also shows how well the PEI sheet works as every little piece stuck and none of it popped off. And this is a 200 by 200 sheet here. It's quite incredible how well this printer did with no mistakes anywhere nothing popped off and everything is just literally perfect and this was also printed at high speed of 250 so pretty incredible and great to see that the extruder can take that kind of punishment with all those retractions so here we have some wheels and these are actually printed abs i did slow it down a bit to 200 millimeters a second printing at 270 on the temperature and 90 on the bed which had no problems of getting to 100 and also having no problem sticking at those temperatures not warping as this is ABS and yeah you guys can see we do have a brim we do have supports underneath that should just break loose let's see all right almost perfect there's a little piece still in the center there which comes out and we can see so I wouldn't say too perfect down there in the spokes as we are a little bit stringy but you know considering how fast we were printing it seemed like maybe it didn't all stick as good as it could have now maybe turning up the heat to 280 would help but who knows that's something that you gotta time in once you start speeding things up a lot of things change and I'm not used to printing anything especially ABS that fast but yeah it worked and it looks good and seems quite solid so yeah these are little RC car wheels that we use for our drift car. And so I did want to try some TPU, which we have this little spaceship here. Now, there was an issue with this printer, and you guys can see there's a major under extrusion going up from here. So it looks pretty bad, but down here we can see it's pretty much perfect. And this is TPU, so it will bend quite easy, but we are kind of breaking because of the under extrusion. But where it did do well, you guys can see it lays down the TPU very nice. So there's no issue with actual TPU printing as we do have direct drive. The issue is with spiralized printing. And what's funny about that is it's only when something is small like this, because we have another print here, you guys can see, which is also spiralized and it did much better than this one. Clipper software at the moment for some it can't handle spiralized mode on a smaller diameter which is kind of interesting and I hope that with some updates it'll get fixed but yeah this is what happens printers good at TPU but not so great at spiralized mode so and we'll be able to see that here at this spaceship which is by the way still stuck to the bill plate Let's see if we can break it loose without moving everything off and there it goes so this spaceship is actually the full height or almost the full height of what this printer is rated for, which is 265. But I do believe it can go a little more to almost 270, but this is 265, so we can easily do that. So maybe depending on how much you have your bed compressed, you can squeeze out a little more. In any case, here we can see the bottom stuck very nice and you guys saw it popped off and if we look at the walls overall they look pretty decent there is a little bit of vibrations there you can kind of see them so it's not perfectly perfect layers as there's something a little strange going on in spiralized mode on this printer and what's interesting is that it did do fine all the way from the bottom to the almost the very top until it got to right here and this is where we started under extruding again to a smaller diameter starts having trouble so very strange but yeah overall the print is done and it's pretty strong and did complete which is good but again not really its strong point in spiralized mode so yeah overall it's quite a capable printer and the package it comes in is very nice as it's very easy to get started with and the pro bringing the metal rollers with rails really gives it the longevity for the long haul i do love that it has dual z axes tethered with the belt filament detection a nice light bar underneath which i just realized that was off and it is quite bright and makes it a little nicer this external fan here does a great job of the extra cooling and I like how you can control it on and off manually and also in the display. We do have a 300C hot end with 100C capability on the heated bed. So you can do really high temperature printing. The direct drive works perfect. All the wiring is very clean. High quality metal parts everywhere. We do have another light under here. You got adjusters on the X and Y for the belts. USB connection, also a type C there. Great screen that's portable. You can grab it and look at it. Very responsive. The clipper software is great and seamlessly integrated where anyone can use it. We do have an ethernet port here 
that if you do connect it to your router, you can control the printer completely from a web page. Huge rubber squishy feet on four corners. Automatic bed leveling compensation. Only thing I would have loved to see is maybe a drawer here, but they do have this little accessory that goes in the back where you can put all your tools in and then they kind of stay back there. So that's quite clever and cool also. So yeah, overall, I really like this printer. And if you want something that just works out of the box and is quite trouble free and easy to put together and use and has a very stable clipper integration, the 4 Pro here definitely is worth looking at as it does build on the 4 with its extra features.